Are you the fox or the hedgehog? Based on an ancient Greek theory, philosopher Isaiah Berlin derived a concept. The fox knows many things, but the hedgehog knows one big thing. We all humans are divided into two categories, the fox and the hedgehog. This fascinating book talks about this fabulous concept, the hedgehog concept. The fox, we all know, is a cunning creature, fast and sleek animal, works with complex strategies. On the other hand, the hedgehog is a simple dowdier creature, a mixture of armadillo and porcupine. The fox pursues many goals and interests at the same given point in time. Unlike the hedgehog, which minds his own business and only has one goal in his life. The fox waits in the cunning silence at the juncture in the trail. The hedgehog, minding his own business, wanders right into the path of the fox. The fox uses many strategies to try to catch the hedgehog. It sneaks, pounces, races, plays dead. And yet every time, it walks away defeated. The hedgehog, sensing the danger, rolls up into a perfect little ball and becomes a spear of sharp spikes pointing outwards in all directions. Looking at the hedgehog's defense, the fox calls off the attack. Returning back to the forest, the fox begins to calculate the new line of attack. Each day, some version of the battle takes place between these two. And despite the cunning fox, the hedgehog always wins. The fox never learns that the hedgehog knows how to do one big thing perfectly, defend itself. To make the hedgehog concept clear, let me walk you through an example. In an incident from our epic Mahabharata, Guru Dronacharya once laid an assignment to test his disciples' archery skills. He asked them to aim at a bird's eye. One by one, each of the Pandavas came forward and pulled their strings. To each, Dronacharya asked a question, What do you see? Yudhishthir said he could see the tree, clouds and a bird. Bhim said he could see the trees and the delicious fruits. Others too had similar answers. Dronacharya didn't allow any one of them to release the arrow. However, when the question came to Arjun, he replied, I see the eye of the bird. Impressed Dronacharya reconfirmed, Don't you see anything else? Arjun replied, No, I can only see the bird's eye. Dronacharya immediately asked Arjun to release the arrow at his target. Just like the tree fruits and branches, we all are caught up and occupied with several irrelevant events that constantly keep us distracting from our focus. To say, they actually keep us deviating from the bird's eye. Arjun became a great warrior not because he had good archery skills, but because he had a clear vision and dedicated focus. Our world today is full filled with distractions. Primarily, digital distractions, social media, televisions, internet series, digital notification, spam mails, social policing, and many more. Everything comes with a price. If you are occupied with so much of dispersed attention everywhere, then we are definitely losing on something. Coming back to the fox and the hedgehog. The fox attitude is characterized by many goals and interests at the same given point in time. As a result, their thinking is scattered and unfocused, and ultimately they achieve very little. Hedgehog, on the other hand, simplifies the world and focuses on a single overarching vision, which they then achieve. The hedgehog concept explains how focusing on one important point, carrying single central vision and ignoring the distractions can transform your life and make you a different individual altogether. The hedgehog concept highlights the core intersection of three parameters. First, what are you good at? That is your talent. Second, what do you love doing or enjoy doing? And third, 
what drives your economic engine that is what gives you money or what are you paid for the key in the hedgehog concept lies in identifying and understanding the intersections of these three circles and focusing and concentrating only on that intersection business researcher and consultant jim collins argued in this classic book good to great that any businesses will more likely succeed if they can identify their one thing that they do best their hedgehog concept undoubtedly the hedgehog concept is the core learning from this book but the book also talks about several other theories let us take a quick glance on few of them first the book starts with good is the enemy of great often we don't become great precisely because most of us think that we are good at something there is a minuscule difference between good and great however usually people fail to recognize it because they are overshadowed by the goodness first who and then what refers to the idea similar to my first video start with why which explains first think about why and then what likewise in this book the author states first have the right people on board in the bus and then head to your destination flywheel and the doom loop explains that miracles don't happen by one decision or by one killer innovation or by one grand program rather it's a process of relentlessly pushing a giant heavy flywheel in one direction jim and his team examined more than 1400 businesses over a period of 40 years in order to answer the question what separates good companies from those who take a leap and become great companies over the course he covered a variety of factors that drives this distinction but one of the most fundamental concepts he explains is the hedgehog so what are you fox or the hedgehog in my next video i will be discussing about this international best seller book the tipping point till then keep liking and sharing my videos and yes please do not forget to comment below and let me know what is your hedgehog code thank you